Holy fuck, guys. What's going on? DJ Danzo here, and I want to thank each and every one of you 102 fucking subscribers for making it this way. Okay, and what I mean by making it this way is I had a goal. I wanted to hit 102 subs. Okay, hang on here. Let me just adjust this shit. All right, there we go. I wanted to hit 102 subscribers since, like, last October, and we've been out, we've been making videos, we've been pressing, we've been doing all we can, and you know what, we haven't been exactly following um, to schedule as we promised a lot of videos, but you know what guys, you guys have stood behind us and we've reached our goal of 100, we're actually surpassed it, fucking before the end of the week, like we actually hit 100 before this Friday, like I woke, I didn't even go to sleep yet, but we made it to 100 subs and we made it to 102. So it wouldn't surprise me if I closed my eyes, woke up, and there'd be a couple more. But my point is, is, is that we actually hit the 100 sub mark. As I fucking asked, I was like, guys, you guys are awesome. You know, like the whole thing. We had goals, and we hit it. And I have to thank each and every one of you guys. You guys don't even understand what this means to me. When I picked up my phone, <coughs> and I went to YouTube, and I saw that 102... I was on Live Me, because I'm on Live Me right now, they can all see this video being made. When I saw that 102, my eyes, it looked like I was fucking stoned. My eyes went so red, and all of a sudden, fucking waterworks. My eyes started fucking watering. I was like, oh my god, overjoyed that we had actually hit the goal of 100. Guys, you have no idea how hard we've worked and how hard we've wanted to hit that 100 subs. And we're going to work even harder this year because we just want to keep bringing you insane and fun and just fucking crazy content. Guys, you have no idea. We've got another video coming out. And you know what, guys? Just because I have a copy, bam, this right here. And I think I've got another one, Basement, basement Cuts. But this is the very first fucking CD that has ever come out by Troublemaker. And we're going to possibly, if I can dig one up, we're going to give away a copy of, um, yeah, Basement Cuts. Um, so, Trouble and I are going to sit down and we're going to figure out what we're going to do about this. But, that's our thank you. We're doing a giveaway, CD giveaway. So, if you guys don't know who Troublemaker is, go on DatPiff. And, both of these CDs are on DatPiff. But still, it's better to have a hard copy. The, the hard copies, especially Basement Cuts comes with a booklet and everything and you know if you're from my generation <coughs> um, the booklet and the CD and the case mean just as much as the music to have that hard copy because nowadays it's all digital download and nobody wants that shit well like more people want that but it's like there's no like material object like you've paid money for something you can't even hold in your hand like it's all like digital I don't know how to explain it it's like it's in the computer and then it ends up on your phone you never physically see it. You know what I mean? And you can never physically hold that. So, um, guys, pretty much what I'm saying is thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for the subscriptions. And I hope they keep coming in. And I hope the view count keeps going up and the likes and all that stuff. Because, honestly, guys, I know I sound cheesy as fuck right now. But we're totally, totally, totally passionate about this. I'm not going to lie, I've made videos before, I have, and what I mean by that is, I've had other channels, and you you guys probably, some of you know the background story pretty much, 00123 Randomness was the very first channel I embarked on with uh, Troublemaker, aka Daniel, and me being Daniel too, uh, we met in high school, and we were sitting down one day, we're best friends, we're just chilling, and we're like, yo, it'd be cool to make some YouTube videos. It's new, it's fresh, it's like, we're seeing other people do it, and we're just like, we're juggalos, what, what like, what, what would we name a channel? And we were like, well, we make random shit, so let's call it 00123 Randomness. And we flew with that, and then that channel kind of got hacked, and, not hacked, but Google came in with YouTube, and it fucked me over somehow. I, Basically, we got locked out of the account. We couldn't get back in, and there was nothing YouTube could do about it. It screwed me over pretty bad. It screwed down pretty over, over pretty bad. And then we came out with True Juggalos, or not? Was it True Jug? No, it wasn't. 
shoot. Um, I can't remember. Fuck. Um, anyways, we came out with that channel, and then pretty much what ended up happening is um, me and Daniel, aka Troublemaker, we had a fallout, didn't talk for two years, and everything ended in the worst way possible. Um, coming from me, as I was the guy who fucked up, I was like, well, fuck, if we're not friends anymore, then we can't do this shit together anymore, so we're going to delete the channel. And I just fucking went click, and it was gone, and I, the minute I did it, I fucking realized what a stupid idiot I was for doing it, because we had something going. And we were at 100 plus subs. And ever since then, I'm like, fuck. Like, what am I going to do? Like, we had such a good following. We had everything going for us. And then, two years later, Dale and I started talking again. And how did we start talking again? Through Instagram. And I said, look, dude, I would love to do a video. And I had seen him in between, like, because we ended up working at the same place, Canada's Wonderland, during Halloween Haunt, if you guys know what that is. Um, and we had seen each other, and off and on, and things were kind of okay, I don't know, like, we would say, hey, we were friendly with each other, but it wasn't, like, buddy-buddy, and, like, that was it, we saw each other, hey, what's up, how you been, good, that, that was about it, like, that was it, and I hit him up on Instagram, and I said, look, like, dude, I know we've had our differences and shit, but, like, we gotta do this, like, I would like to do a video with you, I'd like to do a collab video with you, because I had started my own, he had started his own, and I wanted to do something, I thought, you know what, as much as we're not cool, I wanted to collab with the guy and be cool with him. In some sort of way, I thought, well, if I could help him, he could help me. And maybe we could figure shit out again. You know what I mean? In some weird, twisted way. I just wanted to connect and talk to my buddy. Who was my best friend. So that's why this shit means even more to me. is Because when we did start talking, we did start doing shit. I was like, okay, so we're good again. And... I was like, let's start a channel again because we fucked up, I fucked up, and we gotta fix this and we gotta rebuild our brand. So, True Juggalos 2.0 came out. And we started doing our own thing again. And shit was good. And we started out and we were like, okay, we're gonna come out in October. And next thing I know, because Halloween Haunt comes out, we're gonna make a Halloween Haunt video. And next thing I know, B Man and Dougie show up. And we we're just like, yeah, the more the merrier, let's do this shit. And a year and a, a year and five months later, we're back at that hundred subs. Like I couldn't fucking believe it, guys. You don't even understand what this channel totally means to me. And I don't even think Daniel knew, because like just two years friendship gone. And this was my way slash his way of kind of bonding again and having some mutual ground and giving us a chance. To, to bond and talk and make videos and kind of just do shit without without reason really and it just it it repaired a friendship essentially YouTube repaired a friendship and me trying to fix shit and him trying to fix shit and other people around us just like it was an easy way to kind of mend broken fences and here we are at 102 subs like I'm tearing up and crying because I'm so fucking excited and happy and fucking Oh, dude, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say, guys. I'm just totally blown away. And here we are, fucking Daniel and myself. DJ Danzo, as I'm better well known as, the cameraman slash DJ guy who mixes everybody's music. I'm being called in to do jobs now. Like, my shit's taken off. Here I am, helping Daniel mix CDs and do things that I never thought I was going to be doing. And damn it, it feels good. I've had a really hard patch lately with girl issues and shit like that. And this right here, this is a pickup for me. Like, guys, you don't even understand. Like, depressed and fucking just, just everything. Just thank you. Just thank you, guys. You guys don't even know. I, I don't even know. I just don't even know what to say to you guys other than just, like, fucking thank you and I hope this shit continues and I hope we keep you guys happy and for all you new guys that subscribe in like the last two days fucking thank you for subscribing I hope you guys 
um, are, you know, entertained by what we are going to be bringing out and doing, and yeah, guys, just, just thank you, and, you know, thank you, Daniel, for fucking being there, and, or, you know, Troublemaker, thank you for being there, giving me that second shot. Thank you, B-Man, for wanting to be part of the channel, and thank you, Dougie. I thank every single one of you, you know, because without you guys, the channel wouldn't be where it is today. So, that's where I'm going to go with that, because it's true, guys. Even you guys on Live Me, you guys are the ones who had hit the sub button, and everybody on YouTube, and just you guys watching, I don't know, just fucking everybody, because I'm going to tell you something. Like I said, fucking passionate about making videos, you know. That's the dog in the background. Um, I don't even know, guys. Just peace out, stay true, and look forward to some more videos because you guys are awesome. And just thank you guys. Oh, yeah, one more thing. We are officially. This is what I was going to say, and I got lost off topic. Pretty much, we went from not talking to making videos again, fixing everything, making CDs, and standing in front of promoters, and all this crazy shit, and now we're actually hosting an event. We have physically rented out a club called Nocturne, um, Nocturne Nightclub, uh, downtown Toronto, it's 550 Queen Street West, uh, on, a, on August 3rd. Um, so if you guys want to come down, meet up with us, and just see what we're all about. Tickets are 20 bucks at the door. If you want to um, get tickets earlier, they're 15 So tickets are $15 in advance. So you can save 5 bucks. Um, that's good money. You can spend that $5 at the bar. Get yourself a beer. Or a shot, whatever you want. But yeah, the whole point is, is that we actually have gone from fucking restarting all over again to hosting events like dude 2017 is a year of fucking greatness i don't even know how to explain it this year has been amazing 2016 ended in such a bad way for me you know like fucking one of my dogs passed away from like a stroke i don't even know um r.i.p riley um i got screwed over by a girl yeah let's not go there but i got screwed over i was lied to and used so, what can you do, right? And then I walk into 2017. Yeah, I walk into 2017, and everything has gone up since. Fucking 100 subs, Pete, like, the venue, just, like, everything. And I really, guys, I, I know I'm rambling on and saying thank you a million hundred times. A million hundred, yeah, that makes total sense. A hundred million times. But, guys, we couldn't do it without you. And I can't do it without my team, Dougie, Brandon, and Mr. Troublemaker himself, Daniel. So, guys, from the bottom of my heart, thanks all of you, because this means the world to me. From what I've just told you, to where I'm sitting right now. Because that's where it is. Anyways, guys. Peace.